Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode of Hey, What's Next? This is the show where we explore audio, video, computers, and sometimes solar. Today, we're looking at my latest Aldi find, the Bond Bluetooth foldable keyboard. Okay, I hear you groaning already. A keyboard? Really? Well, that was what I was thinking at first, but after some thought, I could see it being used with setting up a single board computer or using it with a smart TV or a similar device. In short, I'm starting to consider this as a tool for computer work, and why not? This keyboard is small, lightweight, wireless, and can fold up into an area not much larger than my iPhone 14. The Bond Foldable Bluetooth Keyboard. This is what's next. One of the things that I am not good at is typing on this thing. I try doing the whole hand thing and doing whatever, and I'm terrible at it. So, Aldi may have an answer. We have this Bond foldable Bluetooth keyboard in varying colors. And as you can see, the one that I have is green. Seems to be upside down. I'm gonna guess this is a return. That may not bode well, but uh, here we go. It's already been open. Uh, let's hope all the pieces and the parts are in here. So let's see what's on the back. We got Bluetooth wireless. Doesn't say specifically which Bluetooth. Uh, ideal for home and office use. Battery saving sleep mode and USB-C charging input. All right, bonus points for that one says that it's compatible with Android, Microsoft, and Apple. I would hope so. It's a keyboard, but it's foldable. So it could be something that may go into a pocket. I don't know. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. As I was thinking about it, this could work well with the Pi that I have connected to uh, my television upstairs. So, aha. Uh -huh. All right, there's the keyboard and it did come with the USB-C connection. What else do we got here? We have the manual. You can see that it came in black, silver, or gray. And then we have a kind of a pinkish color and this teal color. As you can see here, it's just a standard Bluetooth keyboard. When it's folded, it's 147 by 92 by 15 millimeters. So, uh, and it says there is a sleep node, and it is Bluetooth version 5.0, lithium polymer battery, and should last for about 28 hours. So that's the manual. Uh, we have our warranty card. All right. So let's take a look at this keyboard. Should pop right out. And right off the bat, you know, it's plastic. It does have these little rubberized feet. So I wonder how well that's actually gonna stay on. Yeah, I mean, I'm pressing on it and it's not moving. So these uh, hinges are metal and there's our USB-C connection. Before we get too far into this, uh, uh, yes, this does fit in the pocket. The other thing that I noticed here before uh, going on to connecting this up to the phone, you can see that this rocks back and forth. So I don't know uh, again, the hinges are a little loose, so I don't know if by tightening it that would make it any better, but maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, you can see that it's a little wobbly. Um, but again, uh, let's get the iPhone connected up. God, my list of Bluetooth devices is getting longer and longer. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the device. And I'm going to press and hold the connect button. And you're gonna see a Bluetooth keyboard just popped up. We're gonna pair it. And we now have the Bluetooth keyboard connected. So let's try typing on it. All right, just for fun, we have pages installed now on the phone. Um, we're gonna go into the, uh, let's start with a new document here. And we're going to just start writing. That should give us a blank page. Okay, so let's give this thing a shot. So, this is a... 
All right, I'm having a little bit of problems here. Let's get my fingers in the proper space. This is a test of this keyboard. I mean, the keys aren't bad. I'm gonna bring the mic down. You can hear the keys. Those off. So if we go ahead and we just... The travel on them is actually really good. Uh, they're a little mushy. So take that for what it is. This actually isn't too bad. You know, again, the cool thing is if I turn this off, right? So you'll notice that the keyboard on the phone came up. It's not much bigger than the phone itself. You know, I mean, if you are not walking around with your tablet or your laptop, which obviously with a laptop, you already get a keyboard, and maybe with your tablet you do, but if you have your phone and you're using it to jot down stuff and you really don't like to use the on-screen keyboard, this may not be a bad option. I wouldn't, you know, compose your next novel on it. Let's see, it can't work unless you turn it back on. Let's see if it reconnects. There's the pair, keyboard went away, test, test, test. Not bad, not bad. So we do have some other keys here we have uh, in blue. So we're in the music app. Uh, again, if we press the function key down here, we have the music controls here. We can start playing. There's your volume, there's your skip, there's your back and there's your pause. Well, that's my quick look at another Aldi finds, the Bon foldable Bluetooth keyboard. Let's take it back to the studio. All right, since I recorded the unboxing and testing video, I decided to do some further testing. So I used it for my full-time job all day yesterday. And yes, that's crazy, but I wanted to see if I could do it. I did need to search for keys due to some of the layout, the key size and location differences, like the little question mark being all the way down here. And with this keyboard being a bit smaller than a standard size keyboard, I did make more mistakes than I normally do. All in all, I made it through the day creating emails, making schedule entries, editing text, and creating documentation. So could you use it all day? Sure but I wouldn't recommend it. In the end, I see this as a tool when working with or on computers. I can also see this as something I could slip in my pocket, head off to lunch and create a simple document using my phone. No need to take that laptop or even a tablet with me. Overall, I would recommend this small foldable keyboard. The use case is limited, but I'm glad I have it in my arsenal of computer peripherals. So, putting it in my pocket now. Well, that's it for today. If you liked this episode, please take a moment and give me a thumbs up. To have my channel appear in your feed, click the subscribe button and bell notification icon. As always, thank you for watching this video. And if you have been a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. In the meantime, feel free to watch one of my other videos here or here. And until next time, I'll see you for another episode of Hey, What's Next?